Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial, in this video I will show you a unique grid method, and how can you apply modern gradient effect into the logo, so let's get started. First of all take the ellipse tool, and draw circle in the middle, then go to the edit, copy, and paste in front, and scale it down. Select both circle, go to the object, blend, blend option, and set the inside number 2. Again go to the object, blend, and click on make. Now select all the circle, go to the object, expand, uncheck the object and fill, then click OK. Select all the circle, Copy it to the right by dragging and pressing Alt from the keyboard. Do a copy in the down portion also. Now take the line segment tool, and draw two line from here. Select all the grid circle, take the shape, builder tool, swap the color from stroke to fill, and start unite the line. First we will draw letter T. And now we will draw cloud, the concept is going to be a combination of letter T and cloud. That's great, now take the direct selection tool, and click in the logo, then go to the edit, cut, and delete the unusual line from the artboard, and paste it to the front. Ok, now let's apply some gradient and depth into that. Select the logo, go to the gradient panel, and click on gradient, double click one side of gradient, take the eyedropper and pick the color. Do the same with the other part too. Now take the pen tool, and create a shape here, we will give some depth into that. Swap the color from stroke to fill, make the color white, and delete the outside shape, by the shape builder tool. Select the white shape. Click on gradient, one side of the gradient make darker and other side of the gradient opacity zero. Make the opacity 80%. Now select the depth shape, take the reflect tool, and click in the middle and press out from the keyboard. Maybe 60% opacity is ok. Now take the pen tool again, and create a shape here again. Delete the outside shape, by the shape builder tool. We will give some depth here too. So create another shape here by the pen tool. Delete the outside shape. Rounded this anchor point. And now reflect this shape, too like before. So this is our final logo, you can create so many logo by this grid method, 
If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, and comment which part of this video you like most, and consider subscribe please, see you in the very next video, have a great day.